What's that? You're all good? All right, you're all hunkered down. All right, man, I just wanted to check on you. Yeah, and it's every year, so it's called the point in time, or pit. And it's the sense, it's kind of like a census of the homeless. Right. Right. So right now, hopefully, the cold weather drives a lot of people into the shelter in Central New York, which is a good thing. But then we have our hardcore that are outside, that I know we're, if we have six people that I know that are living outdoors, two are gonna get into a motel tonight. One guy's living in a, he made a kind of a shelter out of these pallets, like a little cabin. And then the other three are living in an abandoned warehouse. And, uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to see them. And then try to encourage them to go to, to the shelter you know, to get out of the elements. And then with me, it's bringing the stuff that we could bring outside, like socks and goodie bags. And I got coats and hats and gloves in case someone's shorthanded with some of that stuff. But it's really just kind of loving on people right now in the middle of their brokenness and just letting them know that they're not invisible and that we're out here and we care about them, you know? And the people, like tonight, the people that we're gonna run into that won't go to shelter, and it's variable reasons. Like if you have mental health issues, you have anxiety disorders, or you don't like to be in a room with a lot of people, they don't want, you don't want to go to the shelter, you know what I mean? So they think that they can just make it on their own, which they can most of the year, but on a night like tonight, it's dangerous for that to happen. Yeah, got a bed. Here's two. <laughs>